Hi and welcome back YouTubers. Glad you could check in. Today I want to introduce you to a project that Archangel Tesla Call and myself have been working on over the last couple of weeks. Um, the first uh, video that we did was a continuous wave Tesla Call that was based on a ZVS driver and that worked really good. And Archangel noted that he was getting a lot of spikes, sword spikes in his, and he figured it was coming from the, um, some of the mains getting through on his rectified mains. So what we did is we made a, the same Tesla coil again. This time I made my own ZVS driver here. You can see it's kind of strung together like that so that I can easily replace parts. That was the whole purpose of this. And um, this one has its own independent power supply on the gates. So the power supply is this wall adapter, which provides 12 volts for the gates to keep them turned on at all times. Here's the circuit diagram. You can also find this in the link in the description. This is a resonant cap bank. So this and this primary resonate at 342 kilohertz. So they are all in, all the systems are in resonance. And then what I'm doing to get the spikes, the sword spikes, I'm taking mains from a variac and doing a half rep wave rectification. So that's a 10 amp, 1000 volt diode, which will provide some ramping so we can get some of these spikes. Let's check it out. It works, wow. Just as expected. Okay, since the last run, I just decided to take everything apart, make the primary a bit more snug, so it's not as separated from the secondary coil, and tap it in a different position. In addition, I also changed the capacitance to a higher one, which is 150 nanofarads instead of 75 nanofarads. And this one I probed with an oscilloscope and it oscillates at 329 kilohertz. So that primary tapped right there is at 329 kilohertz. And the secondary with that steel ball on it and that breakout terminal also resonates at exactly the same frequency. So let's see how this performs. And what I did was a single diode wasn't really cutting it for the rectification. I think it was getting hot and it was uh, at risk of getting thermally damaged. So I just connected two of these 10 amp diodes together in parallel to give a total of 20 amps. So uh, let's test this out and see how this performs. So as you can see here, with the half-wave rectified mains, it produces sword arcs. There's also an increase in length of the arcs. Even with the main power turned off and just the 12 volts on the gate, there's enough power getting through to the MOSFETs via the resistors to get this thing into oscillation. So look at this. It runs in continuous wave without even being turned on, with only the wall adapter providing power to the MOSFETs. Here's another Here's a neon bulb, let me show you that. Flick a flame bulb. And if you turn it on, it produces a very strong electric field. Let me demonstrate that to you. So here I have a fluorescent tube, and as you can see, it lights it up wirelessly at quite some distance. And it, of course, the nearer I get, the brighter it gets. Here's a regular incandescent light bulb. Amazingly, you can still buy these things. And the gas inside the light bulb ionizes and forms this beautiful color, as you can see here. 
from the electric field around the coil. And of course it gets stronger as I go towards the top of the coil where the voltage is higher. Look at that. Here's that neon bulb and I don't have to get very near to it to light up the gas. And I'm assuming it takes about 70 volts. Okay, here's a glass tube filled with low pressure argon. This tube has cesium metal in it at low pressure. So in summary, you can drive a Tesla coil directly from a ZVS driver, as we've uh, shown here. And you can either make your own, and there are plenty of uh, circuit diagrams on the internet to show you how to make it, or you can buy them, and they, they're very cheap. So here's a bought one from China, but you'd need to modify this uh, by adding lower capacitance, which I've done here. Just desoldered the capacitors that it came with and added these lower value capacitors. And th these work fine, I've already tested these and they work great. So you can either make it or, or buy it. And if you've got any questions about this Tesla coil, you can ask either myself or our Angel Tesla. He's working on a, on a further modification of this to pulse to actually uh, use staccato controller to get longer arcs. And he's already done some preliminary tests on, on doing that. And it, it's, it's awesome. For the link to make this ZVS Tesla coil, check in the description for the WordPress document. Thanks for watching. Please come back.